Hello everyone, welcome to this new course on ethical hacking. My name is Nilesh Jadav and I'm your facilitator for this course. You see, this course is basically because uh, today's internet is changing drastically, uh, leading to compiling as well as vulnerable technologies in our hand, right? So that result into big and severe attack. But on the top of that, it leads to loss of infrastructure and our time. See, all these constraints can be overruled by something called a cyber security. And we are taking a very small part of it that we're gonna say that ethical hacking. Okay, it is one kind of subdomain of cyber security. So in this course, we're gonna we're gonna understand it. So the expectation from students is literally none, right? But it would be a relief if they clear their fundamental of networking because a network is, you know, a kind of prerequisite for any cyber security course. So I insist you to the students that you please cover up your fundamentals. Although it is not very compulsory, I'm going to take the fundamentals as well. Uh, this course is not going to teach any illegal or mischievous activity. It is just uh, for educational research and analysis purpose. So you can get aware for the uh, cyber security attack or cyber attack, cyber uh, the the things that is going on, so that you can learn from it. All right. So uh, these are the course objective that you're gonna learn from my course. Uh, you're gonna learn the fundamental of ethical hacking and its varied domains such as uh, forensics, uh, uh, wireless networking, uh, penetration testing, some, a little bit of it, uh, a, a kind of social engineering, information gathering and kind of thing, enumeration techniques, uh, so that you can you can understand the incoming attack and defend your system, right? Uh, apart from that, you can also learn and analyze the vulnerable system that what kind of information, what kind of things that you are in the, that, that you are having in your system and how can you protect it. Um, so in order to find the loopholes, right? Uh, so the, as I told you, the prerequisite fundamental of networking and low end programming, you see that it is not that compulsory, but uh, it is very fine if you, you know, if you just learn certain fundamentals. Uh, such as DNS, TCP, IP, IP networking and all. Uh, these are the course op outcomes that you're gonna learn once you get into the get enrolled into my course and once you learn it, uh, what kind of outcomes you can gain. So you will understand the fundamental of ethical hacking and um, cyber security as well. You will also understand various operating systems, especially the Linux distros. Uh, you will understand virtual machine and how it is working. You will set up a complete lab of cyber security or ethical hacking or penetration testing. Uh, completely fine with it. Uh, you will also understand and analyze various attacks and various assessment tools, also defending tools. Uh, you will also conduct and apply various penetration testing on your system so that you can find the loophole and weaknesses from your system. All right, so these are the outcomes you're going to learn. Uh, so this is a small end course content. Uh, I, see, I didn't uh, put all the subdomains. However, uh, these are the main topics that you're going to learn. Uh, so introduction and importance of ethical hacking in the first uh, part. Then you're going to learn what is a virtual machine. Uh, how can you set up with different uh, operating systems such as you see, I had written here XP. However, you can take any Windows uh, distribution, um, might be 7, 8, 8.1, 8 10, or anyone else. Um, uh, you can also need uh, Ubuntu machine, uh, recent or old, no problem, 16 or 18. Uh, Kali machine you need. You can also use another Debian distros if you are having Parrot, Parrot operating system or anyone else, no issue in it. Uh, you will understand the third module Linux command in a very great detail. Uh, then for, from the fourth step, you're going to learn the uh, the steps of ethical hacking, uh, information gathering, uh, which deals with the uh, public information, which uh, a target had already been uh, um, shared with the public. So we grab that public information so that we can attack it. Uh, we, we can grab it and then we can attack the target uh, from that information only. Then we're going to find the vulnerability scanning, what kind of weaknesses and loopholes in the in the target machine. And from that vulnerability, we're going to exploit it with the help of, uh, you know, exploitation tools. Uh, that is there in the seventh topic. But before that, we're also going to learn enumeration technique, uh, which is a kind of exploitation. But uh, uh, you see that how it's going to work, like if there is an FTP uh, server which doesn't need any kind of username or password, then I can easily enumerate it, right? I can simply get into the FTP. Um, no need of exploitation there, right? 
So it's just kind of information gathering itself, but uh, we're going to see that what kind of enumeration technique is there in the different protocols and technologies such as SMTP, uh, we have NTP and all, okay. Uh, then exploitation techniques, uh, we're going to learn Metasploit framework and different other tools for exploitation. Uh, we have password hacking uh, with the help of Hydra, John the Ripper, PW Dump and all. Uh, then uh, definitely we're going to understand the mitigation things, the countermeasure, how can we defend ourselves with the uh, with this attack. So we're going to learn IDS, IPS, firewall rules, IP tables and all. Uh, so this is my small and coarse content. I hope you like it. So the resource requirement from you is just bring your own device and at least you are having 4 GB or RAM in your system so that your virtual machine can run. I do not have any problem if you are running the uh, these things on your physical machine but uh, it is better to be have a virtual machine and can test and practice because you can, you can come back to the original version with the help of snapshots there. So it is a good thing. So I insist you to please have a virtual machine in your physical machine. So you also need a larger space in system C because we're going to consume that. So I need that. It should not be like uh, like 14 GB free from a 1 TB. So I need at least a good space in GBs in system C. Uh, definitely you should have operating system Ubuntu, Kali, Windows XP, not relevant. You can use X7, 8, 8.1 and 10. Uh, you need an external Wi-Fi adapter. The company and all I'll tell you about. Um, See, in course content, I had not provided any wireless hacking, but we will see the, some some part of wireless hacking as well with the help of this external Wi-Fi adapter because uh, our virtual machine doesn't support the internal NIC. It will convert your wireless into the uh, Ethernet. So it's kind of problem there. So we need an external Wi-Fi adapter. We're going to see that as well. So these are some of the things that uh, I have in the introduction part and uh, I'll see you in the next session. Thank you so much.